welcome to all of you watching on television. We are here at St. Patrick's Parish with the school children. I'm Father Keith Kitzhaber, along with Deacon Jim Trzinski, to lead you in this celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to more worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you manifest the motives of our hearts. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you know all that we need. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of God and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is of course required of stewards that they may be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not stand thereby acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness 
and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, no one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more important than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass of the field which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O oh, you of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day is its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Do not worry about what you are to eat or drink or wear. This reminds me of a great leader I heard once two years ago. In a very philosophical moment, he said, R-E-L-A-X. Relax. You know who I'm talking about. Aaron Rodgers, a leader who saw people getting nervous because they were losing games and it wasn't looking good. And he said, relax. And everybody relaxed, and they came out well. Things turned around. Everybody pulled together, and they focused on what was important. Now we look at the words of the Gospel today. We have the great leader, the great mind, the mind of God. Why are you anxious about clothes? Why are you anxious about what you're going to eat? Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Do not worry about your life or what you will eat or drink. And so, God wants to remind us of the importance of focusing on what is the most important. Now, I will clarify this much. God is not necessarily a Packer fan. I know I'm wearing green and gold today, but God shows no favorites. His mother, on the other hand, maybe. But 
the most important thing is to know that God is with us. God is guiding us. And when he says, don't worry, he is saying in the same breath, trust me, I have a plan for you. Plans for your welfare. Plans for your salvation. And what we have to do? Relax. Listen to God. Listen to his words. Don't be distracted by the world. Don't be distracted by money or clothing or, or anything else. Focus on what is most important. It says this, can, you, can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? And God reminds us, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? That reminds us that we are made in God's likeness, in his image, and he is going to take care of us in our difficult times. And so we trust our Heavenly Father to take care of us in our times of need because it is when we are weak that we realize God is powerful and he is powerful enough to help us to provide for all of our needs. Let us stand now and offer our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, for one God before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the word of resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. With confidence in our Heavenly Father's mercy, we bring to him our needs. For all Christian people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are not able to attend Mass in their parish church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who call upon Christ in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring you these prayers and humbly ask that you grant them, for we ask this through Christ our Lord. Shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. 
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gift, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters, as we move through this remarkable and beautiful year of mercy, we are grateful that God shows his mercy to us and each and every day as we celebrate the Eucharist. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and reward you and keep you in his own love and mercy every day of this holy year.